Would anyone care to offer an opening prayer? Okay, Vera. Go ahead. The torture begins. Nearest Nisus, thank you, thank you for your many, many blessings and for this day of Christian fellowship. And even though... There are lots of answering snorts today. Maybe there always are. Maybe I just hear them today because I'm stuck next to her. And even as it occurs to me that this must be real prayer, even as I see that what is being laughed at is the sound of someone actually ramming a heartfelt message past all the crossed signals and mazes of our bodies, brains, and embarrassments clear on into her God, when I look at Vera, I see a face so exposed, so twisted with love, grief, and longing that if she was my sister, I would take off my coat and I would wrap her up and hold her. And I would beg her never, ever to do this naked, passionate, impossible thing again. Gail Q. Durham manager of the Kincaid Oklahoma Corn Shuckers once said, playing ball is the highest purpose God ever invented the human male body for. But life in the minor leagues wasn't easy. With four boys and twin girls on the way, Papa worked at the local paper mill to keep us afloat. Barely. Injuries ruined his first seasons. But this year was different. You're not gonna believe it. Pop through a shutout. They gotta call you up to the big leagues now. Yeah, everybody been saying that for months. Look, no use talking about it until it happens. If it happens. It did. It did happen. They called right as you were pulling up. You only have three more days as a mill worker, Hugh Chance. You report to Seattle on Monday. Oh I dreamt of that day for years afterward. When Papa threw me so high, I glimpsed an exquisite little forest of baby maple trees growing in our old wooden gutters. When I was six and everything changed for Papa, I never cried or felt any real pity for him, till I realized that he'd never throw me up over that tiny maple leaf forest again. I praise the Lord that counsels me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him by my right hand, I cannot be shaken. Dear Jesus, Papa hurts, so please, dear Jesus, make Papa's pain go away. Amen. The doctor told us, not with that thumb. Your father's days of pitching or playing any kind of baseball are over.
Then there was the botched surgery, a lost lawsuit, more and more cigarettes. And we were never allowed to talk about Papa playing baseball again. What do you want, Roy? Damn it, you? I'm worried about you. Tell me when you'll be back. I might be back when the boys are home from summer camp, or I might just have them sent to me in Spokane. Laura, it was a single beer. You won't even go to church with your own children. Yeah, well, Jesus wasn't a big fan of church either, if I remember right. And after 2,000 years, this church is every bit as senile, and mean spirit is the one that killed him. How dare you? How dare you say that in front of these children? Well, how dare you throw a fit in the name of God over one damn beer? I have seen what one beer can lead to. Kate, get in the car. Mama's father was a drunk. A mean one, too. Died before any of us met him, but Mama still has dreams about him. Kate, get back here. You made promises to me, Hugh Chance. I'd never seen Papa drink. I'd never seen anybody drink except the bombs down in Portland. We'll go fishing after the game. And so I prayed. I reminded God that Mama's awful old man used to beat up his sons when they hid his whiskey. I haven't this was trouble, luck with prayer lately, and I needed help. But I'm looking for a miracle now, Lord. So if you would disappear the rest of Papa's beer for me, Lord, I sure would appreciate it. I thank thee. Amen. Six homers. So wins at the first pitch. Crowd ball. Third over the second in time of the first. King double. Ball. 
Only a wise guy would think I was asking for the beers to disappear down Papa. God answered in my head, the way he does sometimes. You're the one who says God helps those who help themselves. It's your father, kid. Prayer's mysterious, and God is even worse. makes a paper mill smell the way it does. I mean, like, scientifically. What's it really like? I mean, what do you actually do inside the mill? Nothing much. Sure doesn't look like nothing much. The mill is a bunch of machines that make paper out of trees. You've seen one mill, you've seen them all. But I've never seen even one. Not on the inside. Well, then you're lucky. How exactly do they make paper out of trees? Where is that, Roy? How do they make paper? I want to know. It's complicated. I'm smart. If you were smart, you'd know it's not worth talking about. If I was smart, maybe I could figure out how to get my own dad to talk to me. You know, you're running your lip thinking it's clever and I've had enough. One more word. There's a hair lip at church. She seems nice enough for a hair, or she is nice. Except whenever she goes to talk, the lip makes everything sound like it starts with an N. The thing is, there's an operation that'll fix her right up, but her parents won't let her have it. They claim the lips a cross, see? Like, Christ cross. <sighs> You'd like her, I bet. Except there's one thing about her. Would anyone care to offer an opening prayer? She makes up these prayers. Great big long suckers and says them right in front of everybody. Okay, Vera, go ahead. <clears throat> Nearest Mises, thank you, thank you. Every time Vera opens her mouth, every kid in the place starts snickering and snorting, and the adults get mad, and nobody listens, and the whole place goes nuts. And even though I'm not through the valley of the shadow of nests, I will fear no evil. For new or neath me, nor rod and nor staff, they numb for me. Now I still love you, nor and nor, and nor and nor, and still, net nor. Net or nor, it's net to them now. Right now. Thank you. Thank you, Vera. We are so lost, so nearly lost without you. Every week, when Sister Veal asks for an opening prayer, Vera, knowing what'll happen, still raises her hand, wanting to do it. It seems weird, but brave too, don't you think? A couple of us talked about it on the way home. About Vera's parents calling her lip the cross and all. I said it seems like when we see someone with a cross, we should help them carry it. But then some kid hauled off and said, what does that mean? Does that mean we should pretend the lip isn't ugly as sin? Does it mean we should all mangle our own lips and start knocking like this? Or is it just pious crap you're belting to keep from having to do anything real to help her? And that got me thinking. Sister Beale taught us that they aren't just decorations on steeples. They're murder weapons, same as guns or electric chairs. So either Vera's parents are fools or unbelievably evil. So maybe what we should do is march right up to Vera's parents and tell them exactly that. What do you think? I mean, should we? Do you think we should tell them? Tell him what? Aren't you listening? Didn't you hear? I don't know what goes on in your church, Kate. 
At your mother's department. Now quit fidgeting. What is with you today? Now get those muddy boots off my glove box. Then you quit smoking! And quit lying! And quit sitting there like a goddamn corpse! Now Jesus. Kate. Kate, I'm sorry. Jesus, I'm sorry, Kate, but what is with you today? You know, millwork isn't baseball. You, Peter, never did any of you understand that? That's not a game. It's not an art. It's not even a goddamn skill. It's just a dead thing that I do for money so we can eat. I'm a mill worker, Cade. And mill workers are just people who can't be who they wanted. Do you understand that? I know you hate the mill. I know you love baseball and aren't doing what you want. But at least Vera fights. She says her dopey prayers no matter what. All I want is for you to fight Papa. Promises to me, here, Chance. The shredding of the cigarettes, the tortured four-mile runs, and eventually the nightly throwing sessions against an old mattress in the garage wall. It was all some kind of elaborate apology, some sort of self-imposed penance. 
He told me, all I'm ever gonna do out here is toss the pitcher's equivalent of hair lip prayers. Don't think of it as baseball, Cade. Call it my hobby or some weird kind of worship maybe. Just hair lip prayers, Cade. Don't forget, I didn't. But I didn't forget either that some prayers just maybe, just might receive answers.